Just to let you all know, I hope you enjoyed this little video that I made about how to make a zine. Enjoy. Hey everyone, I'm making a video in the wee hours in the morning, but I don't really care. Anyway, do you want to make something so easy that you practically have the stuff already in your house? Well, let's let's get to it. Let's make a zine. A blank zine. You don't know what a zine is? Let's just find out how to make one, shall we? Here's what you need to make a zine with. Paper and scissors. That's all you need. Like I just said that you uh, need paper and scissors. That's just the uh, stuff that you really need to do. But if you want to draw, then you supply your own markers, crayons, whatever. I already made one, but in this one that I made, I added staples. That's optional. So let's make a zine now, shall we? Got your piece of paper, right? Hold it. Just like you're making a card for someone. Hold it over again just so you can have a nice clean crease. So you got that all squared away. Now you take one side and you fold it as so. Take the other side. If the paper is temperamental, then you're probably using a wrong piece of paper, but any kind of paper would work. And if, it, and if you don't crease it correctly, then go back and crease it again. I made I made so many of these and now it's like being now it's being temperamental for me. Now you have now you have four things. Now I'll just fold it in half. Mind you, if it's not if it's not perfect, don't gripe or or anything. It will not be perfect. So you have that, right? Now I take one side and just fold it over. And then crease it and take the other side and crease it over. Uh, 
<clears throat> then you would have a W, right? In the, in the center, you cut with a pair of scissors with, with the crease that you just recently made. You have, now it, now it looks like this, right? Now take the both flaps and then fold it inward. Then Hold it as so. Like I said, if it's not perfect, it's not supposed to be. But if you really want it to be perfect, then there you go. You made your first eight page zine. Page one and two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Your your blank zine. You know how I said that you can use a, a stapler for optional use. So I made so I made one that's a fourteen page zine. That what I just did with those is I made two of these. And just put them together. And I really supposed to do that, but these are zines, and and uh, it's it's all about your style. So what I did was I just stapled into in the center. Best bet to show you. Before you uh, do all the fancy folding and and all that stuff what you can do of course if you want to go on youtube there's tons and tons of videos about how to make how to make zines See, this is so simple. I mean, I'm making one right now. Another. You can make, you can make a whole bunch of these. See how I said it. See how I said it. It's so simple. Anyone can do it. It's arts and crafts, people. Let's see, okay. Uh, Sharpie would work. One, two, three, four, five. You, you can actually do this as, as a template next time you uh, do it. See how, see how one, one side is uh, upside down and one side is right side up. So when you fold it, when you fold it, you fold it wrong. Oh, okay, no, I didn't. So when you fold it back, it's in order. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you can do this as a template. So you, so you know 
what what is going on. So, anyways, I hope you uh, learned something like I did. And if you ever want, now you can make zines as any size you want. These are just like little mini zines, or you can just throw it in a bag or throw it throw it anywhere, and people will see it. I mean, these has been around since the thirties and through the seventies and 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 so on. You can have short stories. You have little little comic strips going on. You could basically have anything that you want. Anything that if you have a message, these are a very good thing to uh, put out your message. So anyway, have a nice day. I'm going to bed.